The flip has been made, and we'll see who comes up with the football. It looks, uh, it looks as if uh, Oklahoma's won the toss. Yes, they have. And they have elected to take advantage of the win. So they will be kicking to the University of Nebraska. Oklahoma kicks off to Nebraska. And of course, they want the advantage of this wind that is coming out of the south southwest at some 16 miles an hour, sometimes up to 20. Johnny Rogers, All-American Johnny Rogers standing at the five. Oklahoma will kick off. And John Carroll, number 10, their fine kicker, will do the booting with the wind. He kicks long as a rule. So with this wind at his back, he could kick it out of the ballpark. John Carroll, back there to kick, waiting for the whistle. We're almost underway with the real classic. The ball is teed up at the 40. Oklahoma kicking to Nebraska. This is it. This is for all the marbles. The football game that the world has been waiting for. The Super Bowl of college football. Here's the kick. A long end over end kick. Rogers takes it five yards deep. He's coming out to the five, to the 10, to the 15, to the 20. He's to the 25 and hit down right around the 24 yard line. So on the opening play, Johnny Rogers took the ball halfway in the end zone, came out of there, and they spot the ball at about the 25, just outside the Nebraska 25. And Al Austin is starting at right tackle in place of the injured Carl Johnson. Al Austin, number 78, and this is KFAB at Omaha. Nebraska on the first play from scrimmage at their own 25 has Rodgers in the slot to the right. The quarterback, Taggy, looks over a six-man front for Oklahoma. And a quick flip out there to Rodgers, complete at the 33-yard line. Down he goes just as he caught it. And bring him down where Acock and number 28, Kenny Pope, put the ball at the 33. And so on the first play from scrimmage, Taggy shows you that he will throw from anywhere at any time as he picked up eight big yards. And it comes up second down two. The ball at the 33 of Nebraska on the hash mark. In from this, the west side. 49 degrees here at Oklahoma. Taggy has his men, two wide men, out to the right. The ball goes to Kinney. Kinney stacked up at the line of scrimmage. Little gain, if any. Jeff Kinney was piled up hard at the 33-yard line. And it was Hamilton, Selman, Driscoll, the linebackers, Qualls, and Acock in on it. The ball at the 33 for no gain. It'll bring up third down at about two and a half. The ball just at the 33-yard line of the University of Nebraska Cornhuskers. Woody Cox, the split end on the left. Rogers in the slot to the left. Quarterback Taggy looks at a six-man front for Oklahoma. And a pitch out goes over there to Kinney. Kinney runs the outside close to the first down. A good block out there by Bill Olds, but a quick tackle put on Kinney. And it's very close to the first down, but maybe a shade short. And the man who got it was Driscoll, the outside linebacker. Let's see where the uh, chain gang puts the chain. It looks uh, a little bit short as we see it from here. They bring the chain in to put it down. And it just came down inches short. A great, a fine defensive play by Oklahoma, stopping Jeff Kinney after he got a good block from his fullback, Billy Olds. Jerry Taggy was uh, motioning about Devaney. I think Jerry wanted to go for it, but Devaney sent Hughes in, and the Huskers will be kicking after their first series of downs. The crowd standing. All right, it's John Shelley deep to receive. Kicking into the wind is Jeff Hughes, and there's Hughes' punt. It's a high hanger in that strong wind. Shelley runs away, lets it bounce, and Nebraska touches the ball down at the Oklahoma 32. So now the folk wanted Oklahoma Sooner offense goes on the attack as Nebraska was unable to make a first down. The ball is at the 33 of Oklahoma, and we'll see now what Bob Devaney employs defensively against the vaunted wishbone team, the scourge of the country at the moment as it is run by Oklahoma. And now, flip-flopping are the cornerbacks for Nebraska, and the quarterback, Mildred, hands them up there to give us to Crosswhite, he got a couple. Crosswhite got a couple right over the right side, he was hit first by Larry Jacobson, and Glover was in on it for a piece. While at the uh, front of Nebraska was a 4-2. And I'll tell you, Crossway was limping back to the uh, huddle there too, Lyle. I think he was hit pretty hard by right around the knees. The ball at the 35 of Oklahoma, second down eight, the Sooners. The ball on the hash mark in from the far side, the east sideline. Oklahoma comes over the ball, the quarterback, Mildred, 
takes the ball. He keeps, goes outside. He's hit and dropped after a yard. A good quick play by Bob Terrio, the linebacker, who met him at the line of scrimmage. Mildred was able to get just one. So it comes up third and seven. A big third down play for the Oklahoma Sooners. And going in is John Dutton, number 90. A huge defensive lineman for Nebraska, 6'7", 241. He goes in and Jansen out at right tackle. So the Sooners on third and seven in the wishbone and the keep by Meldrum. Meldrum trying outside. He's hit and dropped at the 38-yard line. Got a couple and that was all. A great play by Jimmy Branch, number 51. The ball is down at the 38 and Oklahoma will have to kick. Lyle on that 5-2-2-1 two, two, uh, and then one, uh, the... 2-2 two, two are separated only about 8 or 10 yards behind the line of scrimmage aside from each other. The fourth down's a rarity for Oklahoma this year, I'll tell you. Joe Wiley in to kick. Wiley stands at his own 24, waits for the snap. Rogers deep for Nebraska. Here's Wiley's kick. It's high. It holds up there. Rogers takes the ball at the 30. He's hit and got away. Back up field to the 35, to the 40. He's to the 45. He's to the 50, to the 45, to the 40, to the 35, to the 20, to the 10. He's all the way home. <laughs> Holy moly. Man, woman, and child did that. Put him in the aisles. Johnny the Jet Rogers just tore him loose from their shoes. David, how about that? What a great block by Joe Blaha. There was one man that had an angle on Rodgers on about the 20-yard line, and Blaha delivered the block to let Rodgers go all the way. David, what they're, excitement. They're having to get oranges off of the field. I'll tell you, one other obstacle that Johnny ran into twice was the official. He had to outskirt him and uh, beat him a hipper dipper. The try for the point. Taggy Hole Sanger kicks into the wind. The snap. The ball is down. The kick is up, and there's a flag. The kick was good, but a flag on the play. Lyle, I think Oklahoma may or may not have had to prescribe number of people out on the field. That kick was good, and let us remind you that uh, Nebraska went into the wind. As we clocked it, that was about uh, 73 yards. They had a man late getting on the field, and he uh, was still beyond the line of scrimmage when the ball was snapped. So the kick was good. The Huskers have, uh, have declined the penalty. You know, I'd like to do some commercials, but I don't think <laughs> I can read. Well, you got to think of Paul Cupford, and you all... You also got to think of Frank Warfield. He's sitting there, too. Take care of him, Dave. Well, Give him a little when commercial. You're quarterbacking your savings, <laughs> call for the Omaha Savings and Loan Association. Fastbook savings earn a winning points could be but little in this ball game this afternoon because here are two great football teams tangling in the great game of all time. Well, that's Rogers' third punt return for a touchdown, and he and, uh, and uh, Pruitt came in here tied with 90 points apiece to this game. That puts uh, Rogers out in front at this point. The ball is laid down flat. Sanger will kick it from a flat kick. It's not being teed up. They don't want it to hang in that win. Here comes Sanger's boot, and it's quickly skidding down the field, fumbled down there. Wiley, and then Pruitt takes it at the three-yard line. He runs to his right. He's hit and dropped at the 15. A fine tackle by Hauge. Bruce Hauge, I believe it was, Dave. Right, right. Was no, it was number 46. That was Dam Kroger. Maury Dam Kroger, 46, made the stop on Pruitt at the 15. Oklahoma starts from their own 15-yard line. While Dam Kroger's father was a great footballer at Nebraska, he's probably told that young man a thing or two about pressure. The ball is on the hash mark in from the east side of the field. Oklahoma with the football, first and 10. They're in split on the left. The quarterback, Wiley. Makes his hand off. He keeps, goes outside. He's hit and dropped after about three. A big play by Jacobson. All-American left tackle. And I'll tell you, Johnny Rogers showed him why he was selected to All-American teams. Put that ball at the 18 and a half yard line. And that's going to be second down and about six and a half yards to go. As quarterback, Jack Mildren, got some yardage, about three and a half. Second down, six and a half. Split Harrison, number 12, on the left side. And uh, Wiley gives over there to Pruitt. Pruitt breaks in, and he's finally dropped at the 35 on a great play by Johnny Atkins, the end. That was just a quick dive play going over the right side, caught Nebraska by surprise, and Pruitt got the first down to the 34-and-a-half-yard line. Atkins showed some very alert and uh, alertness and uh, quickness as he came back and made the tackle from behind. Oklahoma first and 10 at their own 34-and-a-half. And Mildren gives on them up the middle to Crosswhite, who stacked up. And it was Glover who made that stack up. 
Glover was helped out a little bit by the linebacker. They're going to put that ball down at the uh, 36 and a half yard line. Give him on the play about two yards. Terrio got a piece of the action on that play. It's going to come up second down. Let's call it eight yards to go. And Dutton in at right tackle. Jansen out for Nebraska. All right, it's second down eight. The ball at the 36 and a half yard line of Oklahoma. Oklahoma trailing 7 0 in this ball game with five minutes gone. And they give straight into the middle again to the 40 yard line. The ball goes to the 40 yard line. And it was Crosswhite getting a little yardage. Glover was on the bottom of the stack. Let's see where they put it. They put it to the 41-yard line. So this makes third down three. Third down three to go. Oklahoma with the football. They trail seven to nothing. And Oklahoma is higher in a kite for this one, and they're not used to, be, used to being behind. A big third down play as uh, Mildred takes the ball, keeps the ball. He goes outside and may have gotten the first down. I believe he did. He kept the ball outside and got a little yardage to about the 45-yard line. Let's see what they mark it. Another first down for Oklahoma. Glover and Terrio in on that stop. Lyle, uh, Oklahoma has been going up the middle or to their right. They're yet to come to the left. Now we'll see if they're offensive left. They may be setting something up. The ball at the 45 of Oklahoma. First down 10. The Sooners at the hash mark in from the east sideline. In the wishbone. The give straight up the middle and bam -o. Glover met Pruitt head on. Glover, the middle guard, off the center, All-American Tom Brahaney, hit Pruitt and decked him at the 46, a gain of one, brings up second down nine. So the uh, Oklahoma Sooners huddle at their own 40. Nebraska is uh, on defense with a five-man front with some variations on their normal defense. I was going to say, Lyle, with the normal layman, Nebraska seems to be doing just about what they've been doing all year on defense with their 5-2. All right, second and nine, Mildred fakes his hand off. He keeps, goes outside, Jacobson got him. He overpowered Crosswhite and got him. Dropped him for about a yard. Lyle, those linemen of Nebraska are just gobbling up the right side of that Oklahoma forward wall. All right, it comes up uh, third down now and eight yards to go. Third and eight, the ball on the hash mark. In from the far side of the field and Jansen's going in at right tackle, number 55 for Nebraska. Coming out of there is big John Dutton. Let's call it uh, third and actually about nine yards to go. Third and nine. So here is a big, big first down for a uh, third down play for Oklahoma with eight minutes left in the first quarter. Oklahoma trails seven to nothing. All right, the Sooners over the ball. Meldrin fakes. He's going back there to throw. He's under a rush, and the man is clear. He got it, and he's down at the 22-yard line. It was John Harrison getting in behind Billy Cush, and the Sooners are at the 21 on a play, a third and nine that had pass written all over it. And a rush was on Meldrin, but he still got it away. That's exactly what Nebraska wanted to do, get Oklahoma on third down and long yardage. And uh, Milton really pulled one out. I'll tell you one thing, and that's uh, three third down plays that Oklahoma's been able to convert. And uh, that uh, is a bit terrifying right there. They've come up with a big play on this march. That one was 32 yards. The Sooners in striking distance now at the Nebraska 21. Milton gives his handoff straight into the middle to Crosswhite. And Crosswhite is wrapped up, hit first by Rich Glover. The fine middle guard for Nebraska put the ball at the, let's see, the 20, 19 yard line, a two yard gain. Second and eight for the Oklahoma Sooner. The ball squarely between the sideline stripes at the Nebraska 19. A 32 yard strike. And everybody knew the pass was coming. But a great pass play converted by Oklahoma. Second and eight Sooners. Split right in. Quarterback Mildred fakes his handoff, keeps down the line. He's hit and dropped at about the 17 yard line. Finding some tough running against Billy Jansen and uh, also cornerback uh, Jim Anderson. Put that ball at the 17, and this brings up another third down play for the Sooners. It'll be third and six. The ball at the 17 of Nebraska on the hash mark. In from this, the west side of the playing field. Seven to nothing, Nebraska leads, but Oklahoma threatens. Wow, well, that's the first six, time. 6.43 left to play in this football game in the first quarter. Split the right end, John Harrison. The uh, wishbone tee, the quarterback, Mildred, gives his handoff straight into the middle, and Crosswhite is flipped over at about the 13-yard line, and it was Terrio and Branch who in there on the action. See where they spot it. Yes, the 13. Short of a first down by two. It's fourth down and two. Oklahoma, on a fourth and two, are huddling back around the 20, and in come two football players, one of those, John Carroll. So with the wind at their back, Oklahoma is going to be forced to go for the field goal, apparently. But don't look for anything to be just normal in this football game. There could be surprises. The ball down, the kick is up. 
and uh, the kick is good. The ball was spotted at the 20, a little bit uh, about 15 yards inbounds from the west side. And with the win, Carroll kicked it through. And the score is now 7-3, to three, Nebraska over the Sooners. 5.57 left first quarter. You know, Jerry Taggy has a reputation of calling more audibles to the line of scrimmage than most any other college quarterback. This ability to read the defense to a... With that win, 5.57 left in this first quarter of the ball game. Rodgers and Kinney are deep for Nebraska, and here's Carroll's kick. It's an end over ender. Jeff Kinney fields the ball at the four, drops it, picks it up. He comes back up to the 10. He's to the 20, to the 23, to the 25, and down he goes at the 25-yard line. Jeff Kinney hit down by two or three Sooners, and uh, they were all over it at the 25-yard line. They spot that ball at the 24. His knee hit right there. Carroll, the kicker, was one of the men in on the tackle for Oklahoma. So the Huskers now, for the second time on offense, the first time they had this ball, they could not run for the first down. Now they have another opportunity. They're second of the ball game. They are first down at their own 24. 18 in from the east side. In motion, goes Kenny to the right. Taggy dropping straight back. He wants to throw. He's under a rush, and he's going to be thrown down, but he got a couple of yards back before they threw him down. He got to the 18-yard line. And the Sooner defense, which Bob Devaney said has been badly underrated all year, saw some real action from Lucius Selman, a fiery sophomore on the left side. Also with him was uh, Sugar Bear Ray Hamilton on the left end position. The ball is a loss back to the 18-yard line, and uh, that one really hurt as it was a six-yard loss to bring up second and long yardage, 16 yards. In the eye formation, Jeff Kinney in the top of the eye, Rogers in the slot to the right, Haggy gives it on the reverse to Rogers. He's playing outside, can't get it. He's hit down at the line of scrimmage. A great play over there by Steve O'Shaughnessy, the right cornerback, number 18. So Nebraska's offense has not been able to get on track against this Oklahoma defense. And Bob Devaney pointed out that Nebraska was going to have to put a lot of points on the board and the offense was going to have to come of age in order to get the job done here this afternoon. All right, it brings up... Uh, third down 16 yards and of course Nebraska in a position if they have to punt again to kick into that wind all right it's Taggy giving on the draw to Billy Olds Olds breaking over the right side got a little yardage he's uh, being hit down at about the 24 yard line the original line of scrimmage they drove him back about three or four yards but uh, he picked up to the original line of scrimmage to the 24 he got six on the try and uh, now Nebraska will have to punt the ball away to Oklahoma and the Sun is trying to come out on this football game. Nebraska leading 7-3 in the first quarter with four minutes left to play. Jeff Hughes stands at the Nebraska 11, gets his snap from center, a good snap. His kick is away, but he was rushed at the last minute by Acock. The ball bounds at the 48, takes a bad bounce back to the 45. A bad bounce for Nebraska, good bounce for Oklahoma, and the Sooners will start with field position at the Nebraska 45. Now maybe you've noticed the Nebraska offensive team is wearing new jerseys. They're tearaway jerseys. I can see Taggy has already left, uh, lost part of his. Uh, you can see that the defense is still wearing the old jerseys with the uh, stripes along the shoulder pads. But uh, the offense is using uh, new jerseys just for this ball game. And there's an official timeout on the field. You know, and Sooners come over the ball. They split their end. Harrison on the right side. In the wishbone tee, the quarterback, Milgren, takes the ball. He turns, he keeps, he's going to throw again. He fires a long one. It's down there for Chandler, overthrown. Running with him was Anderson, the cornerback for Nebraska. The pass intended for Chandler as they tried to hit the Cornhuskers with a quick bomb. The ball starting at the 44 and a half of Nebraska. That pass backfired. Anderson running with Chandler in good form. Well, they only sent one man out on that pass pattern was uh, Chandler, so there was no secondary receiver. A straight flag pattern. Milton really hung it up in the air and just hoping Chandler could uh, run underneath it. And it was about a step, uh, step too slow for it. Second down 10. The Sooners with the ball. Nebraska 44 and a half yard line. 18 in from this, the west side. Two men wide to the right. And to give this time is to Wiley nowhere. Stopped right there at the line by Rich Glover, who's having himself a day. Big Rich Glover, the middle guard, playing over All-American Tom Brahaney. Stopped the left halfback Joe Wiley suddenly at the line of scrimmage. No gain, third and ten. Dutton comes in at right tackle. Jansen goes out for Nebraska. The score, seven to three. Oklahoma trailing Nebraska. The Sooners with the ball. And again, they need to convert a big third down play. They put uh, their split end to the right. The quarterback 
Mildred fakes. He's going back there to throw. He's got time to throw, and the pass overthrown again. Two men covering. Cush as was back with Mason, and the pass intended for John Harrison to split in. Number 12. Overthrown and incomplete, and the Sooners will have to give up the football. Fourth down and 10, and Johnny the Jet Rogers goes into the lineup for Nebraska. He has been the difference for the Cornhuskers thus far in the first quarter with three minutes left to play. Nebraska leading 7-3. and three. As I mentioned, Jerry Taggy's lost part of his jersey, and the back of Johnny Rogers' jerseys have been torn to shreds already, too. Joe Wiley is back to punt for Oklahoma at the Sooner 41. Johnny Rogers stands uh, just quietly at the 10-yard line. It's a high floating kick. Rogers takes the ball at the 11-yard line. He's the 15 to the 18, and down he goes at about the 18-yard line. Bob Devaney, you know, gives Johnny his choice. He can field it or not field it. He leaves it entirely up to him. And why not? Greg Pruitt made the stop for Oklahoma. The ball on the 18 and a half yard line of Nebraska. And the Cornhuskers in this entire first quarter have had no field position whatsoever. They have started from deep in their own uh, territory, both uh, or all three times. This is the third time. The ball goes to Kinney. Kinney is hit at the 20 and got only about a yard and a half. A good play in there by Oklahoma, and Roach gets credit for the stop. Put the ball at the 20-yard line, and let's give Kenny two to make second and eight. The Sooners are playing tough defense. They're kicking with this wind and keeping Nebraska deep in their own territory. And the Sooners are now up there with their four-man front, front, three linebackers. Second down eight, Nebraska with the ball. Taggy rolling out of there to the left. He wants to throw. He's got Woody Cox on the sideline, and it's... Uh, is it complete or was he out of bounds? No good. It was incomplete. They say Cox was out of bounds on the sideline at the 34-yard line. So it comes back upfield to the 20-yard line where it'll be third down eight. Nebraska with the football squarely between the sideline stripes. Deep back down in their own territory as they've been throughout this first quarter. 2.28 left on the scoreboard clock in this first period. 7-3 Nebraska leads it. But they need to convert a big third down play right here. All right, Oklahoma shifting their defense around. Taggy has Nebraska in the spread. He takes the ball, rolls out of there. He fakes the draw to Olds. He throws out there on a little screen to Kinney. Kinney is to the 24. There's a flag to the 25 and hit down at the 25. Hold on, a flag on the play. Looked like Keith Wartman was called for holding. He was the, he laid the initial block out there and it looked from here also as if he was uh, grabbing hold of the man that he was blocking and that's what it was. So the Huskers really having trouble uh, moving offensively. That's our first penalty of the ball game, and a key one it was for Nebraska. First penalty, and it really hurts at that uh, particular stage in the field at that position because the Cornhuskers are going to have to kick into the strong wind again as they've had to throughout the first quarter with two minutes left to go, and of course uh, that's exactly what Oklahoma wants them to do. And the question here is, will they uh, take this first down or the penalty, take the yardage, or... Uh, take the football holding penalty against Nebraska declined by Oklahoma they want the football they don't want to give the uh, Nebraska offense a chance to pull something off so the ball is spotted at the 24 which was Kitty's forward progress it's a fourth down and uh, about five situation Hughes has to kick into the wind again and back up field is number 33 John Shelley the safety man for uh, the Sooners there's a uh, the kick and a good one by Hughes into this win. Shelley fields the ball and he's hit immediately as he caught it at the 32-yard line. Johnny Rogers, first man to hit him. Dumbler there, Austin there, number 78. Dumbler 54. Johnny Rogers right down and hitting Carboom at the 32 of Oklahoma where they'll start first down and 10. 7 to 3, Nebraska leads first quarter, two minutes left. Tell you, Nebraska came out of that all right. A great uh, kick by Hughes and uh, fine coverage with Rogers making the tackle. I tell you, you can, uh, could ask uh, kicking into the wind and uh, having better uh, field position now for Nebraska with the ball on about the 31 and a half yard line. All right, the Sooners at their own 31 and a half. They're in the wishbone, split right end. And to give to Wiley into the line for about three or four. Across the 35, over around the 36. And in on that tackle were Glover and the linebacker, uh, well, Willie Harper was in on it, number 81. He got a piece of that. Put that ball at the 36-yard line. Give Joe Wiley four yards. Brings up second down and about six to go. Second down and uh, let's call it five to go. The ball just outside the 36 of Oklahoma. And the give straight into the middle. Stopped dead is Tim Welch, who's in there at fullback. 
And Dave, uh, you may have been right. Rich Glover made the stop for Nebraska. Frost White may have been uh, injured a little on that one play. I think either you or Jack said he limped when he got up. Very first play, right. That was David. That was David? Eagle All right. Eye, Eagle Eye. Eagle Eye, they put the ball at the 38-yard line, just inside the 38. Oklahoma on third down at about three and a half. 18 in from this, the west sideline, split the right end, and to give straight into the middle goes to Welch, and Welch got the first down, I believe. Welch, number 45, got the first down, and Glover again makes the stop. But the Sooners are the only ones with a first down in this football game. How about that, sports fans? 103 left first quarter. Oklahoma at their own 43. I'm being redundant, but that's about the sixth third down play that uh, Oklahoma has converted. And that's first, usually a key. First and 10 to Bra or Oklahoma at the Oklahoma 43. And uh, Milton on the keeper tries the side. He's hit and dropped by Glover and somebody else at about the 49 yard line in Nebraska. Terrio was in on the stop. Milton running the keeper beautifully over the left side. Got some yardage to the 49 of Nebraska. And it'll bring up second down at about two as Milton got a big seven yards. This guy makes the wishbone run. He is probably the greatest option quarterback in America. Oklahoma three, Nebraska seven. 22 seconds left, first quarter. Milton gives his time to Pruitt. Pruitt is hit and snowed under, and a fumble. And uh, going down the sideline is Anderson with a the football. There's a flag, Anderson is going all the way, but a flag, the play is called back. Nebraska could not advance that fumble. Anderson came up with the ball. Who forced that fumble? Get those glasses on him, Davey. The ball is at the 46-yard line. Nebraska takes it over as there were two or three men hit him and forced the fumble. But Anderson could not run with it. So here is the first turnover in this ball game as Nebraska goes offensively at their own 46. And this is the first field position they've had today. 15 seconds left in this first quarter. 7-3 to three the score. Nebraska over Oklahoma. Nebraska in the spread. Men wide on both sides. Quarterback tag. He looks at a four-man front. Almost a six-man front now. And the give is to Billy Olds over the right side. Olds to the 50 to the 48-yard line of Oklahoma. For the first time offensively, Nebraska in Sooner territory. At the Oki 48-yard line, and the clock is running out at the end of this first period. It'll come up second down and four at the start of the second period with the ball at the 48 of Oklahoma. And there it is, the end of the first quarter, Nebraska 7, Oklahoma 3. Cornhuskers on second and four at the 48 of Oklahoma. Open this second quarter in a slot eye with Rogers in the slot to the left. Kinney in the top of the eye. Taggy slides down the line. He keeps the ball, goes across the 45 to the 44, and then is thrown back. And that may be the first first down of the ball game for Nebraska. It's going to be close. Steve Acock, the middle linebacker, and Oklahoma's Goodwin was the man who led the attack on quarterback Taggy as he ran the keeper. And uh, it's an official timeout to bring the chains in to take a reading of the football to see if it is a first down and 10 for Nebraska. The Huskers in uh, Sooner territory for the first time this afternoon. And the chains are down. The stake is down. And Jerry Taggy, you are right in my line of vision. I can't see. Now it's just a couple of inches short. The referee, Vance Carlson, shows it to be a couple of inches short. So it's third down at a couple of inches. And uh, the Sooners send a new man into the right side of the line that's mike struck going in there nebraska third and inches and taggy on the keeper got the inches and a few more and puts the ball at about the 42 or three let's see when they peel them first and ten nebraska over the ball at the sooner 43 a little to the left the center of the field nebraska in the spread Taggy, the quarterback, looks over a four-man Sooner front. Takes the ball, drops straight back to throw. He's got good protection. He's throwing long, and it's overthrown incomplete. He tried to hit Rodgers, but running with him very well was O'Shaughnessy. Steve O'Shaughnessy, the right corner. And uh, also back down deep was Jerry List, the uh, tight end for Nebraska. So uh, with 14-10 left on that scoreboard clock, Jerry Taggy tried to catch the Sooners with a bomb on a first play on a first down and 10 at the 43 of Oklahoma. Lyle, Jerry Taggy may have gone a little too deep on penetration. Had he turned and done a button hook back, I think Jerry Taggy could have hit him. Lyle. It'll be second down 10. The ball at the 43 of the Oklahoma Sooners. Nebraska with a slot back to the right. That's Johnny Rogers. The Huskers in the eye. Four-man front. A 4-4 defense. And the fake handoff to Johnny Rogers. And a pitch out to Kinney. Kinney trying the right side and out of bounds. Good defense by Oklahoma as they run him out at the 37-yard line. Oklahoma covering that one well. And there was good faking. Taggy faked off to Rogers on that inside handoff. 
kept the ball. He rolled to his right and then pitched off to trailing back Jeff Kinney, the eye back, just at the last second. The ball at the Sooner 37-yard line. And here's a big third down to convert for Nebraska. Third down and three and a half. The ball hash mark, 18 in from the east side. The Huskers in their spread. Quarterback Paggy looks at the four-man Sooner front. He calls his starting count. He gives the ball to Oles. Oles over that side. He's got the first down to about the 30. Shoved all the way back. Billy Oles finally dragged back by Acock. But a first and 10 for Nebraska as they put that ball at the 33 of Oklahoma. Lyle, on that uh, previous fake to Johnny coming back on the draw or the curl, uh, those are tendencies. He had been giving in the past to Johnny. It's the first time I've seen him keep the ball. Quarterback. Right. The ball at the 31. They shoved Oles back to the 33, but his forward progress to the 31 of the Sooners. First down, Nebraska. Slot eye to the right is Johnny Rogers. The Huskers in the eye. Kenny in the top of the eye. And the fake handoff by Taggy. He's going to throw over the middle, complete to Rogers. He's hit down at the 17-yard line. A great play by Taggy as he faked his handoff on that play action and hit you-know-who, Johnny the Jet, right at the 19-yard line. That was his forward progress, and Roach and Driscoll combined for the stop. It's first down at the Sooner 19. He had another man open in about the same vicinity. I think it was Bill Olds. So there were two men quite wide open, but he went to Rogers, and it's a first down. Taggy's tearaway jersey is shredding. The ball at the 19 of the Sooners, 18 in from the far side. Husker slot eye in the left. St uh, slot is Rogers. Split left end is uh, Woody Cox. Taggy runs the keeper across the 15 to about the 14-yard line. And Taggy starting to get running room. And a good block by Darrell White, his left tackle. Put the ball at the 14-yard line of Oklahoma. Nice pickup of five by Big Jerry Taggy, number 14, who is in shreds right now. The ball squarely between the sideline stripes, second and five, coming up. Straight out from the uprights at the 14-yard line, the score seven to three. Nebraska over Oklahoma, second quarter, 12 minutes, 45 seconds left, second quarter. Nebraska in a slot eye to the left, and to give to Kinney. Kinney, the eye back, driving into that pile to the 12-yard line. Stacked up at the 12, short of a first down by about three yards. Oklahoma looking for the bread and butter guy, Jeff Kinney. Stopping that pretty good in there. Dick Rupert under there trying to block him out. But the Sooners have got a lot of size and quickness in that defensive unit, too. Let's call it third down at a good long three. The ball is at the 12 of Oklahoma. The Huskers need another big third down play. It's straight out from the uprights at the Sooner 12. Haggy has them up over the ball in the eye. Slot back to the left is Rogers. Split left in. The fake handoff over there, and Taggy on the keeper runs the ball into the middle of the five-yard line. First down, goal to goal. <laughs> Albert Qualls finally got the stop on Taggy. The big guy from Green Bay, Wisconsin, ran it up to the five where it's first down, goal to goal. The ball 20 yards inbounds from the east side of this playing field. Nebraska with the wind in the second quarter, leading 7-3. and three. Slap back left is Rogers. The Huskers in the eye. Haggy calls his starting count. Oklahoma bunching him up in the line. The give us to Kinney. Kinney goes all the way to about the one-yard line. He went over Dumbler, Rupert, and White on that left side. They cleaned him out of there as he went right down to the one. He got four of the five, and now he's got one more to go. It's second down, one to go for the touchdown. The Huskers getting field position the first time in this ball game have marched like the offense they have been all year. Prior to that, Oklahoma kept them in a hole. Now, it's second down and one to go for the touchdown. In the eye, the ball to Kinney. Kinney dives over. Touchdown! Nebraska's Jeff Kinney diving over the pile, got the TD, and the score is 13 to 3. The try for the point, Sanger will kick, Taggy will hold. That's the routine. Taggy losing his jersey. What a game this guy is playing in this first half of the ball game for Nebraska. Waiting for the snap from the center. There's the snap. The ball is down. The kick is up, and the kick is good, and the score is 14 to 3. Nebraska over the Oklahoma Sooners. Well, that was the 13th touchdown for Jeff Kinney, and that was a march uh, of 54 yards to score after a fumble by Oklahoma. Now the Sooner crowd comes to its feet cheering here, and uh, we'll see as Nebraska prepares to kick off. You made a statement earlier about that uh, probably the...
thoughts here. Sanger will kick off. Deep are Wiley and Pruitt. Wiley on the left side. Pruitt at the right side. They're both just a step inside the goal line. Here comes Sanger for Nebraska. And there's his kick. A nice long kick with that wind. Pruitt fumbles the ball in the end zone. It goes through the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. It'll be first down and 10. And now Oklahoma will start against the wind as Nebraska did in the first quarter. Back at the 20-yard line. The Cornhuskers never getting in the offensive position were held and held well by the Sooner defense. But the first time they got the ball in position, they went with it. David? Well, this is certainly a, an unlikely situation for Oklahoma this year. They've just been able to brush aside the opponents in the first half. So now they're playing catch up for the first time this year. So the Sooners with a wishbone, first and 10 at their own 20. The right end split. That's Harrison. And Wiley, or the quarterback, fetches out. And Pruitt is hit behind the line and dropped as he got back to the line of scrimmage. Jimmy Anderson got him quickly. The lead blocker, Wiley, was not able to get that quarterback out of there. He couldn't handle Hopper, and the quarterback came up fast, and Anderson met him at the 18. Pruitt just made the line of scrimmage second and 10. Dave, some of Oklahoma's problems might be that they're running into the number one total defensive team in the country today. The ball at the 20, 18 in from the far side, and uh, the Sooners on the second and 10. The give is to Crosswhite. Crosswhite in there, caught him. He's to the 45, and down he goes at the 45. Crosswhite, for the first time, the Nebraska was faked in the middle, and Blahock made the stop, but not until Crosswhite had gotten to the 44-yard line. So that time, they didn't get the fullback down, and Crosswhite can run and kill you. 24 yards, he got on that one to the 44-yard line. Sooners, first and 10 at their own 44. They split the right end, Harrison. Quarterback, Mildred. Fakes, keeps, he goes outside, and Meldrin's hit and dropped by three men at about the 48 or 9 yard line. See where they mark his forward progress. Over there where Jansen, uh, also in on the tackle, was Blahock and Terrio. Put the ball just outside the Sooner 48. A pickup on the play of about four yards, four and a half yards. It'll be second down, and let's call it five and a half yards for Oklahoma. At the Sooner 48 and a half yard line, in on the hash mark, from the east side of the playing field. 14 to three, Nebraska leads. Sooners at the middle of the field now split the right end. Meldrin gives to Crosswhite into the middle, stopped dead at the line of scrimmage. Right down on the bottom of that pile was the linebacker, Terrio. And uh, Jacobson, Jacobson was in there with a big hit. Put that ball down there at the 49 yard line and that's going to bring up third down and let's call it five. Dutton goes in, Jansen out at right tackle. Third and about five. Here's another big third down play. The Sooners must convert. 9-20 left to play in this first half. 14-3 Nebraska leads. Sooners over the ball with a split left end. And uh, Mildren fakes, keeps. He goes outside on the keeper and he got the first down to the 44-yard line. Mildren running the keeper beautifully. Kept that ball and got to the 44-yard line where it's a first down and 10 to go. And Terrio limping as he comes off the field. And uh, they could ill afford to lose him, the linebacker, in a good one. The ball in Nebraska territory at the 44. First down, 10. Oklahoma with the ball. The magician Jack Mildred running that wishbone tee. Split the right end. And that is John Harrison, number 12. Quarterback Mildred takes the ball. He uh, gives off to Crosswhite, and Crosswhite got about four or five before he's wrapped up. Dutton led the stop on him. See where they put that ball. They give him the forward progress inside the 40 to the 39, and it's going to bring up second down, five to go. Lyle, so far, Nebraska's been containing the outside well. That time, the linebackers got in there, but it was Pruitt who leveled the block Ontario and did his job. Once you cut in, the linebackers are plugging, and uh, the pursuit's pretty good. He got a good run. Second down, five. Sooners over the ball. In the wishbone, split left end is Harrison. Quarterback Mildred gives off this time to Pruitt. Pruitt is gobbled up at about the 37-yard line. Short of the first down by three or four. Rich Glover led the stop on him. Let's see where they finally stack the ball. They're going to spot it uh, right around the 37-yard line. It'll be short of the first down by three. So the Sooners are third down and three. The ball at the Nebraska 37, a little bit to the left, the center of the field. Nebraska leads in this first half, 14 to three, with uh, midway in the third, second quarter. Split the right end, Harrison, for Oklahoma. The Sooners, third and three. Mildred. Runs the keeper. Mildred got by. He's outside to the 25, and he's being gobbled up at the 25. Mildred got by the right tackle of Nebraska and went outside and got some yardage to the 25-yard line. So it'll be first down and 10 to go down in Nebraska territory deep now as the Sooners started back at their own 20 and have moved this ball 
in great form down to the Nebraska 25 for first down and 10 to go. 14 to 3, that's the score. Nebraska leading it in this second period. But Oklahoma is starting to really threaten again. 7.23 left to play in this first half. Oklahoma comes over the ball and they send Harrison, their right end, split to the right. In that wishbone tee, uh, Mildred Keats goes back into the middle. And he's being hit and wrapped up at about a first down at the 15-yard line. Mildred running the quarterback keeper. Goes to the 15-yard line. Glover gets credit for the stop. But the Oklahoma offense is moving as they're marching down this field, starting at their own 20, and they have moved all the way to the Nebraska 15 against the Blackshirts, who have been stopping the inside game up to now. But Oklahoma is making that inside game work, and that has been their principal attack all the way down from their own 20. It's a first down at the 15 of Nebraska. First and 10 to go, an official timeout for measurement. 7.07 left on the clock for this first half in playing time and a score 14 to 3 Oklahoma trailing they're trying to get on the board for their first touchdown Bob Terrio the linebacker was shaken up a little bit ago for Nebraska in to replace him is Pat Morrell all right the Sooners at the 15 in Nebraska have it first down and 10 Mildred gives his handoff straight ahead to Crosswhite for about four Crosswhite on a just a quick hitter into the middle was stopped by Jimmy Branch of Nebraska principally at the 11 yard line It'll be second down, six to go. Second and six for Oklahoma at the Huskers' 16-yard line, or 11-yard line, rather, just a little to the left, the center of the field. And Terrio uh, is up on his feet on the sideline, doesn't seem to be badly shaken. A big second and six. Oklahoma over the ball, split the right end. Quarterback Milgren takes the ball. He goes to cross height, straight into the middle, close to the first down, right around the five-yard line. Crosswhite getting to about the five. Jimmy Branch getting credit for the stop. And again, they're going to have to measure. And it's no, they're not. It's first down Oklahoma. The ball at the five. And into the ball game go Jansen and Terrio. Dutton and uh, Morrell will come out for Nebraska. Morrell, the linebacker. No, Branch is coming out. Terrio going in for Branch and Dutton in there for some more strength. First down and five to go for the touchdown. The Sooner machine is moving. They're in the wishbone, split the right end. They trail 14 to 3. And uh, Mildred on the keeper runs outside. He broke a tackle. Then he's hit and dropped at about the three-yard line. And there's a fumble on the ball. No, they say the ball was dead. They say the ball was dead, and Oklahoma keeps it. That was at the three-yard line, just inside the three-yard line. Now, Bill Cush is over doing a little arguing and protesting with one of the officials. The ball is actually closer to the two-yard line. Lowler's Bob Devaney protesting, too. We go back again to when are you stopped. I'll tell you what, in this ball game, someone's going to really get the nose in the dirt if they do that. All right, it's second down, about two and a half to go for the touchdown. Oklahoma's over the ball, and uh, Mildred running the keeper outside. He got a block. Touchdown. So immediately, Oklahoma back in the ball game in a big way as they marched 80 yards on a beautiful drive and have gone on the board. They lead, uh, they trail Nebraska now 14 to 9, 5 10 left to play in this second quarter. And Oklahoma trying the extra point. Carroll will hold Mildren, or Mildren holds Carroll, kicks the ball's up and good. And the score is 14 to 10. Nebraska 14, Oklahoma 10, the clock showing 5. Oklahoma kicking into the wind. They want to kick a flat one. They don't want it to hang up there. And it goes getting picked up by Jamail. Jamail grabbed it quickly at the 45 and got to the 47. A very brilliant play by Doug Jamail. And uh, fortunately, he held on to that football. But he, uh, he grabbed it, held it. And Nebraska starts with great field position just outside their own 46. That should uh, cinch Doug's position on the Lebanese All-American team because he showed a couple of good moves there, too. I think his reps trapped it, Dave. Five minutes left to play first half. Nebraska leading 14 to 10. The Huskers are over the ball at their own 47. They're in their spread formation. Terry Taggy calling his starting count, dropping straight back to throw. He throws outside and is caught and dropped over there by Rogers on the sideline. Johnny Rogers jumped just a little too soon. He couldn't uh, run much further or go out of bounds. He wanted to grab that ball and bring it down inbounds. But he couldn't pull it off. 
Almost, but not quite. So the incompletion puts the ball back at the 47 of Nebraska, where it'll be second down, 10 to go. The clock shows five minutes to play in this first half. The score, 14 to 10, Nebraska over Oklahoma. And Johnny's uh, jersey is torn off at the back. So the Huskers are over the football in their spread on the second and 10. Jerry Taggy has them up there, looks at a four-man sooner front. He uh, gives it on the handoff in there to his fullback, Dan Kroger, to the 45, to the 43, and out of bounds he goes close to the first down at around the 42 or 3-yard line. Dan Kroger, the young sophomore fullback, in there spelling Billy Oles, puts this ball down to, let's see where they mark it. In Sooner territory, uh, where is it? At the 43? Yes, it looks like about where they'll put it down. Will it be a first down? Yes, it is. A first down, Nebraska, at the Sooner 43-yard line, just inside the 43. Five, a uh, little less than five minutes left in the half. I expect to see Jerry Taggy go to Jerry List in one in the next uh, few minutes because I think Jerry's been working, uh, getting open, and I've seen List talk to Taggy a couple times. We'll see. First and ten, Nebraska at the Oklahoma 43. Just inside the 43, slot back left, Johnny Rogers. Kinney in the top of the eye. And uh, the fake is to Kenny. Rogers is going back there. He's going to throw. He's throwing long to uh, Woody Cox. And Woody Cox was knocked down by number 26, Roach. And the crowd is booing. The two players ran together. There is no interference being called. The two players ran together, and it will go as an incompleted forward pass. And Bob Devaney dragged that one out. They have not used that one all year. Johnny Rogers throwing the forward pass, and it was a beautifully thrown ball. But Woody Cox was being well covered back there by Roach of Oklahoma. So it brings up second and ten. Cox is spread on the right. Rogers in the slot to the right. The Huskers in the eye. Quarterback Taggy calls his starting count. Looks at a four-man front. He gives off to Kinney. Kinney trying the left side. Got across the 40 to about the 39-yard line. Darrell White up there blocking for him along with Jerry List. Hamilton gets credit for uh, the bulk of the stop inside the uh, Sooner 40 at the 39. And here is a big third down six play for Nebraska. The ball 18 in from this, the west sideline on a third and six for the Cornhuskers. They need to convert this one. They lead 14 to 10, second quarter. 4.17 left to play. Split the right end. They're in their spread formation. Quarterback Taggy looks at the Sooner defense. Sooner's looking for the pass, of course. And there it is over the middle out of the hands of Jeff Kinney, believe it or not, or Jerry List, one of the two. Jerry List right at the 25. The pass perfectly thrown. Hit him right in the hands. And a Sooner was shaken up on the play a little bit. John Shelley, the safety. Time is out on the field. Shelley was shaken. Well, that was a tough break for Nebraska. Taggy hit uh, List right in the hands, and List is normally a sure-handed receiver. So that one hurt. They failed to convert that third down play. As the ball could not be handled, and Rich Sanger has uh, gone into the football game, so we'll see what Bob Devaney is going to do. He may figure that an attempted field goal with his wind is as good as a punt. Lyle, outside the pass of uh, Jeff Kinney, that's the first time anyone other than a quarterback has thrown the football. And uh, maybe with that wind, Lyle, about 20 miles an hour and a chilly day had something to do with it. Jack, it looks as if Shelley may have an ankle or a knee, and that would be a tough loss on Oklahoma in that secondary. Shelley is a fine safety man. That would be a very, very severe loss. to He spotted at the 46-yard line. It'll be a 56-yard attempt with the wind. The snap, the ball is down. There's the kick. It's way short. But into the end zone, through the end zone, it'll come out to the 20. It'll come out to the 20 where Oklahoma will start. First down and 10 to go. And keep in mind that the last time they started at the 20, they went 80 yards to score in very workmanlike fashion. And the key to the whole thing was primarily the running of Crosswhite and Mildred. Crosswhite in the middle and Mildred off the tackles. So the ball is brought to the 20 and they'll start from there, trailing Nebraska 14 to 10. And the uh, Sooners split their right end again. In the wishbone tee, they have Welch at fullback in the wishbone. They give us to Pruitt, and Pruitt gets a couple and no more. Pruitt is wrapped up on the left side of that Nebraska line. Jacobson led the stop on him. Branch was also in on it. Put the ball at the 22, and that'll be second and eight for Oklahoma. Roy Bell is running at left half for Oklahoma now in place of Wiley, and Welch is in there at fullback. A couple of sooner replacements. Now, they split the end. Harrison on the left side. Second and eight, Oklahoma. 
and uh, Mildred runs the keeper, runs outside the tackle. He's groveled up at about the uh, 26 by Rich Glover. Glover trailing that play beautifully. Cut down Mildred at the 26. But how that Mildred can move on that option play. It'll come up uh, third down four for the Oklahoma Sooners at the Oklahoma 26. Larry Jacobson was able to penetrate on that play, and he slowed down Mildred enough that Glover was able to, uh, with his usual good lateral pursuit, come on over and make the play. We've had one fumble in this football game, and that was a turnover to Nebraska. Nebraska scored as a result of it. The ball uh, is at the 26. Milgren fakes his hand off. He keeps. He goes outside. He got a block. He's being chased. He's being dragged down by Blahock at the 38-yard line. A beautiful play as Milgren got a block on the tackle and came outside again, as he has been able to do. And they have had their best success running outside the tackle on the right side of the Nebraska line. Put that ball at the 38 of first down Oklahoma. The clock shows 2.46 left in the half. Oklahoma 10, Nebraska 14. The Sooners moving. Let's call it the 39 of Oklahoma, first and 10. They're in the wishbone with Harrison, the end, split on the right side. Quarterback Mildred fakes, keeps. He goes outside the tackle this time, and he's hit and wrapped up by Glover at the 42. Glover making another great play on that one. A three-yard pickup by Milgren brings up second and seven. Well, somebody might be wondering what about the outside man. I'll say this, Jimmy Anderson, whoever might be on that side, in case it was, he must play his position on that keeper because of the trailer coming around, and Oklahoma does lateral. He's got to be honest. So Oklahoma, on a uh, second down seven, breaks the huddle, comes over the ball. Again, they split Harrison, the end on the right side. Quarterback Mildred calls his count. He fakes. He keeps. He's going back there to throw. He fires long downfield. And it's complete to Chandler at the 35-yard line as he got in behind Joe Blahock. Joe Blahock did not have Chandler covered. He got that ball and uh, took it in at the 35. So the Sooners are threatening again to strike. The clock stopped with a minute and 55 seconds left in this first half. Nebraska leading 14 to 10, but Oklahoma threatening again as they started from their own 20. All right, they split their quarter, their uh, right end. And that's Harrison, number 12. And Mildren gives this time to his fullback up the middle, fumble on the ball, and Nebraska comes up with the football. Rich Glover was the man who brought that one on, put that ball down at the 27-yard line. The Huskers take it over again. And there again is the second lost fumble for Oklahoma. Nebraska gets the football with a minute and 39 left to play in this first half. They lead 14 to 10. The Huskers break the huddle. They're in their spread. The quarterback, Jerry Taggy, looks at that Sooner defense. He's dropping straight back to throw. He has lots of time. He's going to run. He couldn't find anybody to throw to. He's hit down at the line of scrimmage. They had the receivers covered. Taggy didn't like the looks of what he saw downfield, so he decided to run the ball. And time is out. The clock is stopped, and Taggy is coming over for words with his head coach, Bob Devaney. So he is back in the ball game, so he would not hurt severely. He's the safety man for Oklahoma. Nebraska is second and ten and a half on the spread. The draw goes to Dan Kroger over the left side. He's running to the 35 and hit out of bounds at the 36. He was running for that sideline very smartly to stop that clock at a minute and 22 seconds left in the half. The broadcast comes to you from KFAB at Omaha. And Nebraska needs about two yards. It'll be third and two. The ball just across, just outside the 35-yard line of the Cornhuskers. And uh, it's on the hash mark in from this, the west side of the playing field. Huskers huddling at their own 25. Jerry Taggy, their quarterback, gives them the play. They come out of there and up over the ball on a third and two. They're in the slot back to the right with Johnny Rogers there. Taggy runs out, pitches off to Kinney. Kinney turns back upfield and uh, is down at about the 36 or 7. Was it a fumble? It was a fumble on the ball, but uh, Nebraska will keep the ball. Let's see what it's going to be. Oklahoma defense that beautifully. The ball is down at the 36-yard line, and it's going to be fourth down at a yard. Time is being called out. Block this one. Hughes gets his snap from center. His kick is away with that win. A high, booming kick. Wiley fields the ball at the 15-yard line. He's hit and knocked down at the 22. And the man who got it was number 77, Dick Rupert. Joe Wiley took the punt, and Rupert knocked him down at the 22 of Oklahoma. So the Sooners, with 51 seconds left of the half, have the football again. 
They are huddling back at the 15, starting from their own 22 on a first down and 10. Sellout crowd of over 61,000 here today. It is Horseshoe Stadium at Norman. 14 to 10 is the score. Nebraska leads it. Oklahoma with a split right end. Uh, the keeper is being run by the quarterback, and he is being hit by the 20 at the 26-yard line and thrown back. It was Joe Blaha who hit the uh, quarterback, Jack Mildren, and he gave Mildren his forward progress at the 27-yard line. Mildren's greatest success running this option has been outside the Nebraska right tackle. And that time he went outside, and that's favorite is left in this half. Oklahoma, second and six. And Mildren takes that ball, gives that ball to Wiley over the left side while he's hit down, but he got the first down and ten. And that was just a quick diver over the left side, over Nebraska's right side, and the clock shows 29 seconds. And the clock is stopped for the first down placement. The ball at the 33. It's running. The clock shows 25 seconds. First and 10, Oklahoma. Mildren fakes the handoff. He's going to throw. He's firing long downfield. And uh, Harrison ran under the ball. And he was hit down immediately by Cush at the 24-yard line. The clock has stopped. 15 seconds left to play. That ball hung up there in the air in the wind. Bill Cush was back there, had the receiver Harrison well covered, but the ball fell short, and Harrison ran out of the ball. 12 seconds left to play, 11 seconds. Mildren back there to throw again. He gets his pass away. Harrison, touchdown. unbelievable performance as Mildren took the ball away with two passes five seconds left the try for the point the ball is down the kick is up and it's good and Oklahoma has scored their first touchdown of the day and gone ahead in this ball game for the first time 17 to 14 but I tell you you will never see two better plays move a team faster down the field than those two throws from Mildren the first one to his right end Harrison on the right side and the next one to his right end Harrison who had switched over to the left side and Harrison just plain got both of them and it was in behind one Nebraska man going into the end zone I believe it was uh, Cush or Mason one of the two and uh, in a way Oklahoma goes in front 17 to 14 spectacular football unbelievable as they took the ball with only 33 seconds left and managed to move it all the way down that field. The flat kickoff, and there it goes. The ball was touched down by Nebraska at the 50-yard line. The flat kick, the ball went just across the 50. I don't know if he was trying the onside kick or if it just happened that way or whether he was trying just the flat kick. But the ball was recovered by Nebraska's Jamail at the 49-yard line of Nebraska where it's first down. The clock shows four seconds left to play. And, of course, everybody looks for the forward pass. Haggy fakes his handoff. He's going to throw long. He's firing long. Downfield. Incomplete. The pass is incomplete. The clock runs out the end of the first half. Oklahoma, 17, and Nebraska, 14. Sailor clear through the end zone with that win. Nebraska starts at their 20, first down and 10 to go. And they open the second half, trailing for the first time in 1971, at least uh, in the regular season. They trail 17 to 14, and they take the ball 80 yards away from the Oklahoma end zone. Now we will see if the Nebraska Cornusker offense is able to do anything with this Sooner defense that stacks up in there to stop the run with almost a... Uh, well, a six-man front and one linebacker up in there tight. And Kinney breaks over the left side. He's to the turf. 35, the 40, the 42. Down he goes at the 42-yard line. Kinney breaking outside to the left. Went to the 42-and-a-half-yard line. So it was Derlin Moore who got credit for the stop. First down, Nebraska. The 42-and-a-half-yard line of the Cornhuskers. 18 in from the east sideline as they go against the wind. 
from left to right on this football field, trailing 17 to 14, starting the second half. The Cornhuskers are in the spread on a first and 10, and quarterback Jerry Taggy has Rogers wide to the right. Taggy rolling out of there, looking for somebody to throw to. He's going to run the ball. He's hit down at the 41-yard line. A good play by number 59, Mark Driscoll, as they spot the ball at the 49. Taggy wanted to throw, couldn't find anybody open. A loss on the play of about a yard and a half. It'll bring up second and 11 and a half. Well, Nebraska was overloading the right side as both Rodgers and List ran sideline patterns, and uh, they recovered quite well. Taggy motioned he wanted Rodgers to reverse and cut back across the field, but by that time it was too late. All right, slap back left is Rodgers. They're in the eye. And they gave us to Kinney running over the right side, east to the 50, across midfield, just the shade to almost the 49-yard line of Oklahoma. See where they spot it down, the 49 and a half. Short of the first down by a couple of yards. And I think Bob Devaney had a few words with his offensive unit, which was not firing out in the first half and were being beaten in the middle by Oklahoma. But now it's third down and two. They've got to convert a third down play themselves now. They trail 17 to 14 in the eye with a slot to the left and a man jumped offside on the left side of the line and that was Rupert. And that's the kind of error that kills you. As their fine offensive left guard, Dick Rupert, not a young man to make many mistakes, but he made one there and it was hurtful. That ball will go back five yards and that's the very kind of a thing that they can ill afford to do this day. Put the ball at the 44 and a half yard line and now it's third and long yardage. And this changes the name of the game. The ball is spotted and now at the 45. Let's call it third down and about eight to go. Third and eight. Haggy has them up there, ready to play ball again. Oklahoma leading 17 to 14. Slot back left is Rogers. Nebraska in the eye. Kinney in the top of the eye. And it's Taggy back there to throw. Looks for a receiver. Can't find one. Hit down at the 37-yard line. And again, it was the Oklahoma defense. And it was uh, Lucius Selman in on the play. Along with him was Bruce Deloney. Put the ball down at the 38. And Oklahoma defense again has been the answer. Nebraska will have to kick the ball away. 12.50 left to play in this third quarter. And their ability to control the ball has not been evident today as they trail 17 to 14. But a lot of playing time remains as Hughes is back to kick into that strong wind. It's a short kick. Takes a good Nebraska bounce down to the 30, to the 29, to the 28, and it's being touched right around the 29-yard line. So now the wishbone will start. Oklahoma at their own 29. Well, this is the first time on a punt, I think, that ball has bounced in favor of the Huskers before it has bounced back towards them on the kicking side. Dave? On that third down pass play, Taggy had the required amount of time, but he uh, finally broke down eventually. I bet he had about six seconds to try and pick out somebody, but the Oklahoma secondary just too tough. All right, the Sooners on the attack now, leading 17 to 14. Split left in, and the handoff goes to Pruitt into the middle for a couple of yards or so. Pruitt going over his own right tackle, Got a couple of three. They spot the ball at the 33-yard uh, line. Let's give him about three and a half. Make it second down seven. Jimmy Addison got credited with uh, up most of that stop. The ball a little bit to the right of the center of the field. Oklahoma breaks the huddle with their split end. Har Harrison, John Harrison, number 12 on the left side this time. In that wishbone. And the give is to the fullback into the middle. Glover's got him at the 35-yard line to pick up of a couple. The fullback, Crosswhite. Uh, straight into the middle, then curls to the right, and Glover rode him down at the 35-yard line, short of the first down, by about three and a half yards for Oklahoma. A third down play, and these are the ones they converted all through the first half of the ball game, as they dominated the first half play, and they lead 17 to 14. Split left in on the keeper. Mildred goes for the first down across the 40 to the 42, and it's interesting to note that every time they have converted a third down, Mildren has kept the football. Through the entire first half, he was converting on every third down play and he just pulled it again. A great quarterback, first down 10, the ball at the 42-yard line of Oklahoma, on the hash mark in from the east sideline. They are the ones exhibiting the ball control. First and 10, and Mildred fakes, keeps, he runs his, to his left, back up the center. He lost the football, Nebraska got it at the 47-yard line. 
Getting the ball was Mason, number 25. Dave Mason for Nebraska recovered as they stripped the ball. One of the men stripping was Atkins in on that play. There were two or three had their hands on Mr. Milton. So the Huskers grabbed this fumble at the 47-yard line of Nebraska the third time they have done this in this ball game. So for the ball, their own 47, first and 10. Haggy has a split left end, slot back to the left is Rogers. The ball goes to Kenny. Kenny running beautifully to the 47-yard line. Boy, how that kid from McCook is running the football in the second half. He's running tough in this third quarter, believe me. 10.50 left to play in the third quarter. Nebraska trailing 17 to 14. And the ball spotted just inside the Oklahoma 47. It's second down and about four and a half coming up as Nebraska goes over the football. The ball a little bit to the right of the center of the field. Slot back right is Rogers. Split right end is Cox. Nebraska in the eye, and the ball goes to Kenny, trying outside. He goes close to the first down, about the 42, getting a great block by Billy Olds, number 44. And let's see, it's a first down of 10. The ball spotted at the 42 with the Oklahoma Sooners. So the Huskers now, with 10 and a half minutes left in this third period, have that ball on the attack, and they break the huddle, led by their fine center, Doug Dumbler. They have a slot back left, Johnny Rogers. Split left end is Woody Cox. Oklahoma loading up there with uh, about six men on that front line. A keeper by Taggy. He runs into the line across the 40 to the 39. Taggy looked as if he stumbled a bit and then got into the line, tripped up by Ray Hamilton, number 96. Put that ball at the 39 and a pickup of three makes second and seven for Nebraska. Straight out in the middle of the field. And it's second and seven, a big one coming up as the Huskers break the huddle. Cox splits left, Rogers are right, and Rogers left in that spread formation. On a second and seven, Taggy calls his starting count, four-man front for Oklahoma. And he gives to uh, Billy Olds. Billy Olds runs to about the 35-yard line, and it'll be short of the first down by about three to four yards. Olds just on a quick slant over the left side, got a shade short of the 35-yard line, let's call it third and three. Deloney made the stop on Billy Olds. The ball a little bit to the left, the center of the field. 9-17 left, third quarter. Oklahoma leads in this game, 17-14. Nebraska's over the ball in their spread. Oklahoma loading that line up a little bit right now. On this third down play, they want to shut it off if they can. Taggy faked the pitch, he kept. He's to the 20, he's to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. He's thrown out of bounds at the three-yard line. was the Nebraska quarterback's time. He faked the left end Hamilton on that pitch out, kept it, and set sail. Haggy, not known as a speedball runner, was going down that sideline for home, but he just didn't quite get it. He put it at the three, where it's first down and goal to go Nebraska. They trail 17 to 14, but how they want on that board. Oklahoma stacks up that line as Kitty barrels in there, touchdown. Nebraska, 53 yards after another Oklahoma fumble. And the Huskers go ahead, 20 to 17. What a spectacle this is. Sanger to kick, Haggy to hold. Waiting for the snap. The ball is down, the kick is up, the kick is good. And the score is 21 to 17. Oklahoma trailing Nebraska. And how do you like those apples, David? I'll tell you, 21 to 7. And here is that flat kick of Sanger's hanging in the air. It's fielded short by Crosswhite. Crosswhite is hit and dropped at the 27. And an Oklahoma man shaken on the play. I'm not sure but what he was injured by his own man as they ran together. Number 40 for Oklahoma, back on that receiving team, was shaken up, but I don't think badly. I think he just had some air knocked out of him. The ball is spotted at the 27 and a half yard line. And here comes Mildred, and the crowd is cheering. They want their suitors to really get going and set sail again. They trail again in this ballgame, 21 to 17. Now at their own 27 and a half yard line, Mildred gives to his fullback into the line, Crosswhite for about three. Crosswhite hitting it in the middle. And uh, they'll give him about three yards on the shot, I believe. Yes, to the 
31 yard line, second and seven. Now, I think on the middle of our interior line, when you shoot and penetrate on that uh, wishbone, you've got to be thinking right most of the time. So a lot of times when uh, Mildred's been slipping through there, the fullback through, we've gone the other way. You just hope you're right. Oklahoma splits the end. Harrison on the right side. They're in the wishbone, and uh, the quarterback gives straight ahead to the right halfback at little yardage. A couple of yards as Pruitt was hit by Adkins on the left side of that line. The ball is spotted at the 34. They give him two, and it'll bring up third down and four. And now let's see if Milgren keeps it again on a third down. According to our figures, he has kept it every time and converted the third down plays. What'll it be this trip? The ball at the 34 of Oklahoma. Third down, four. Split the right end, Harrison. And Milgren fakes, keeps. He's got the ball. He's being hemmed in. He's being thrown by Willie Harper. Back at the 19-yard line. Hello, hello. Who was with Willie on that rush back there, David? I was so amazed at Willie's job while I didn't uh, see the other man. Yeah, Mr. Well, John Atkins. Is it Atkins from the other side? Mr. Atkins. Ball is spotted at the 22. A big loss for Oklahoma brings up fourth down and 15. Oklahoma will have to kick, and Dick Herman is having to spot for Blackwell again. No, it's not that. This is reminiscent of Kansas State two <laughs> years ago, Davy. <laughs> All right. Back there to kick is Wiley at the eight-yard line. His kick is away with that wind. That's a high, booming kick. Rogers takes the ball, hit immediately. Boy, he was gambling there. The ball at the 38-yard line. They spot it at the 38 of Nebraska, where it'll be first down 10. Brahaney and Bell down to make the stop for Oklahoma. Oklahoma trailing 21 to 17. Nebraska with the football again on the offense. And now let's see if they can maintain that offensive charge, which was lacking in the first half, but has been evident in this third quarter. And the give is to the fullback. Straight into the middle goes Dam Kroger for about five. Dam Kroger running at fullback, goes straight over the left side, and let's see what they give him. What a fine young sophomore this kid is. Yes, it's about uh, four and a half yards short of a first down. It'll be second down coming up. Lyle uh, Austin was being uh, admonished a little bit by an official down there. <laughs> shame, shame. All right, second down, about four and a half. The ball at the 44-yard line of Nebraska. The Huskers with the football. The ball goes to Kenny, who tears his way into that line, almost to the first down, just to about the 49-yard line. And I have never seen Kenny run tougher, Dave. I'm still brooding that you've been picking on me <laughs> over here, Lyle. I never should have let you pick up that breakfast. Oh, uh, you, right. you had I a... This one guy, Harper, makes a great <laughs> play. And then I, there's some guy comes in I, after I, the play is all over. I'm sorry, Davey. I had Harper. I wanted the other fella. Meanwhile, back it's in first down stadium. and 10 to go. The ball at the 49-yard line. Nebraska with the football. Jeff Kinney on just tough running. Got that first down and 10. The ball at the 49, midway between the sideline stripes. The clock shows 626 left, third quarter. Nebraska leads it 21 to 17. The Huskers break the huddle and come over the ball. Woody Cox wide to the right. Rogers in the slot to the right. Right, Kinney in the top of the yard. The fullback is Dam Kroger. And the ball goes over there to Kinney. Kinney running the left side. Breaks through the 45, the 40. Down to the 37-yard line. Kinney running the left side. Got a block. And somebody grabbed him, but the jersey gave way. And they're... He got by around the corner to the 36-yard line of Oklahoma. Lyle, I think his professional bonus just went up $40,000 this half so far. Great uh, performance. Oh, that kid from McCook is a tough one. Tremendous. Put the ball at the 36-yard line of Oklahoma. First down, 10 to go. The Huskers lead in this game 21 to 17. 550 left, third quarter. Slot back right is Rogers. Kenny in the top of the eye. Taggy calls his count, slides down the line. He got a block. He wants to throw. He's got Rodgers at the 20 to the 15 and out of bounds. Steve Acock finally made the stop on Rodgers. And the little guy almost broke it all away. Johnny the Jet took that pass and knocked out of bounds at the 16 of Oklahoma. Taggy took a play out of Mildred's book as he started sliding down the right side of the line as if he was going to have an option. And then he stopped back quickly and hit Rodgers, who was crossing over. Nebraska sends two wide receivers left. Woody Cox and Johnny the Jet. Nebraska in the eye. Kenny in the top of the eye. Taggy calls his count at the line of scrimmage. A long count. He takes the ball. He gives to Kenny into the line. Nowhere at all. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Oklahoma stacking it up high. Mark Driscoll, the linebacker, 59. 
one of the lead men on that tackle, a big Jeff Kinney. Jeff Kinney, been, he's been running like a man possessed in this third quarter. 5.20 left to play, third period, 21 to 17, Nebraska leads. Second and 10 coming up. The ball at the 15 and a half yard line of Oklahoma. On the sideline, uh, hash marker in 18 yards from the west side of the field. Slot eye to the left is Rogers. Nebraska is in the eye. Kenny in that top of the eye. Haggy rolling to his left. Wants a receiver. He's going to run up the middle. He's to the 10 yard line. Haggy saw the middle break open. He went for it and got five big yards. They're straight in front of those uprights. Mark Driscoll got credit for the stop. I mean, end of the game is uh, Frosty Anderson, number 88-9, at split end, and Cox goes out on the left side at the split end spot. It'll be third and five, Nebraska, straight in front of the goalposts. The ball just a freckle outside the 10 of Oklahoma. Nebraska's in their spread. Oklahoma probably looking for the pass right here as Taggy rolls to his left, looks for his receiver, got Rogers. He's knocked out of bounds at the half-yard line. Oh, that Johnny Rogers, mama ain't he something. He took that pass from the hands of the great one, Jerry Taggy, and it puts it on the half-yard line. And I wonder what all the pros are thinking about as they look at this big kid from Green Bay. And he's had one drop today. Put the ball a half-yard from that end zone, and four shots at it coming up. 21-17, to 17, Nebraska leading with 4.20 left on that clock. Split the left end, Frosty Anderson. Slot back left is Rogers. Kinney in the top of the eye, and Taggy goes trying to get that half a yard. Maybe he didn't get it. But he's got a touchdown coming. A ball is going to be a shade short of that end zone as the Sooners were submarining under there. That ball is not much more than a foot away, and three cracks to go at it. Four minutes left in this third quarter, and the score 21 to 17. Nebraska three downs to go about a foot or two and they come over the football in the yard uh, Rogers in the slot to the left Taggy calls his starting count at that line of scrimmage he gives the ball to Kenny Kenny in touchdown yards and the Cornhuskers go in front 27 to 17 how about that what a game this is I can't read it Jack His I've, third got, touchdown I've got my wrong glasses on buddy I'm an old man <laughs> 338 here's the drive with a point the ball is up Sanger's kick is good and the score is 28 to 17 Nebraska over Oklahoma with 338 left in the third quarter David I think it was John Atkins who helped out Harper on that rush. <laughs> I'll tell you, you know something? Nebraska has really come out here with a vengeance oh. in the uh, third quarter. I'll tell you, they've really taken it to Oklahoma. Dave, I detected a little spirit when they came out. I thought I saw it. <laughs> I still thought they were somber, but regardless of how they came out, it's working so far. But I'll tell you, almost against almost any other team in the country, you say Nebraska has an 11-point lead, we could sit down, but not against Oklahoma. Uh because it was that way once before at 14 to 3 and how fast it did change it sure did you maybe betcha. maybe david you didn't mean somber maybe you meant sullen <laughs> i no, think that's that, what uh, i am they were somber <laughs> i'm sullen gentlemen i think that third touchdown by kenny today ties the record of uh, three touchdowns in one game i think over to you dave well uh, <laughs> don't uh, don't leave your seats because this ball game is far from over when you're playing oklahoma they showed us they could move down and score with 33 seconds left on that clock and I would have bet a small fortune and mine is very small that they never could do that against Nebraska but they turned it every way but loose and did the job in unbelievable fashion but now again they trail the Cornhuskers 28 to 17 but those uh, black shirts had better not relax one instant or it's Oklahoma all the way again the ball is la lying flat at the 40 where Sanger will kick it Wiley and Pruitt are deep. Here comes Sanger with his kickoff. And it's a high, wobbling kick into that wind. It's being handled at the 4 -0. He's hit immediately at the 26-yard line. And down there very fast, Johnny Pitts. Number 56 was one of them, Monty Johnson. And that was Dodd who handled that kick into that wind. 
and they start again at the 27 and a half yard line so the Sooners fans are yelling at their beloved wishboners to get this game in gear they trail 28 to 17 they split, uh, send Harrison wide to the left they're in the wishbone and the uh, keep by uh, quarterback Mildred and Glover's got him at the 32 and a half yard line Glover has been making a lot of those plays going over uh, outside the tackle to stop the great quarterback from Oklahoma Jack Milden but Milden picked up good yardage to the 33 yard line where it's going to come up second and about four and a half Nebraska leading in this third quarter 310 left to play Oklahoma with the wind at their back sends Harrison wide left in the wishbone Mildred gives to his fullback into the middle and Glover got him down Richie Glover from Jersey City, New Jersey. East Jersey. Wow. East Orange, New Jersey. Took him at the 32 and a half yard line. And it's going to be a big third downer. And will Jack Mildred keep it? That is the question before the house. David, it'll be third down and let's call it four and a half. A couple of weeks ago, Bud Wilkinson, we were talking to him, Mr. Ninus, and he said uh, a key is going to be how Brahini handles Glover. Glover has been magnificent all afternoon. All right, it's Oklahoma over the ball. They're in the wishbone, and uh, Mildred on the keep. They try the reverse, and Harrison's going to throw. The man is open, and he broke the tackle. He's being chased and dropped. Clear down at the 18-yard line. That pass complete to Albert Chandler, and it was a looked like an end around to Harrison, but Harrison threw off that end around. And the ball is spotted at the 16-yard line, and Jimmy Anderson saved the day. That 51-yard play put the ball at the 16. Well, what did we just finish saying? Don't leave your seats. There's much football to be played. Oklahoma threatens. They trail 28 to 17. Mildren on the keep, runs outside tackle to the right. He cuts in. He's hit and dropped at about the 8-yard line. Terrio made the stop on him for Nebraska, number 45. So a surprise play caught Oklahoma or caught Nebraska as Oklahoma had their split split end throw and it was a 51 yard completed pass play to Albert Chandler, their magnificent tight end. The ball is at the eight yard line, short of the first down by two yards. It'll be second down and two yards to go. 18 in from the west sideline. So Oklahoma sends Harrison wide to the right. Mildren has them up there. He fakes, he keeps, he's going outside. Now he cuts in, he's hit down at about the three-yard line. Oklahoma moving and a threatening to score. Another first and ten. First down and goal to go at the three. So a 51-yard pass play on a third down really took him off that hook. Johnny Dutton rushing in at right tackle. Jim Branch, number 51, comes out for Nebraska. Oklahoma on a first down, three to go for the touchdown. Splits their right end. Mildren takes the ball, keeps the ball. He's outside, he's tackled. A brilliant play in the middle of that line by Larry Jacobson, number 75. Mildren almost got off that block on Jacobson. Somebody blocked Big Jake, and he went down and reached out and grabbed Mildren. Hauled him down at the two and a half yard line. So it's second down and two and a half to go for the touchdown. The ball on the hash mark in from the east side line. As Oklahoma breaks the huddle and comes over the ball. Quarterback Jack Mildren calling his count. He takes the ball. He keeps the ball. He's outside for a touchdown. <laughs> Oklahoma 73 yards in magnificent fashion. And all of it, the bulk of it, keyed by a great 51-yard pass play. And I uh, have never seen in, in many, many years Nebraska hurt more by passing than they have been today. The ball is down, the kick by Carroll is up, and it's good. And the score is 28 to 24, Nebraska on top of the heap, with only 28 seconds remaining in this third quarter of the ball game. But Mildren has done it to Nebraska with four big pass plays. His first touchdown was set up on a long, long pass, and then he's scored the second touchdown with two great pass plays to Harrison and now it was the split end Harrison who uh, turned around and threw to the other end Chandler to set up this last touchdown 
So with 28 to 24, here's Jack. Lyle with 28 seconds to go. This is Oklahoma's uh, last shot at their back with the win. Now, with Carroll uh, hoping to keep Nebraska in poor field position on this kick. This is KFAB, NBC for the Great Midwest in Omaha. All right, it'll be Nebraska kicking, uh, taking this kickoff. Carroll kicking uh, from a slant with the ball uh, set up on the hash mark at the 40. Over on the left side of the field, Kenny to the left, Rogers to the right for Nebraska. There's the kick, goes straight down at Rogers. He scoops it up, can't handle it. He's not going to run it out. It'll come out to the 20, where it'll be first down and 10 to go. So Nebraska will start deep at their own 20 with a first down, and the clock stopped at 25 seconds. You know, Lyle, a uh, number of people have said there's uh, there are a lot of college football teams, but uh, Nebraska and Oklahoma are playing different sort of ball this year. They just stand heads and shoulders above everybody else, at least so far. And what a magnificent battle we've seen this afternoon. All right, it's first and 10 at the 20. Nebraska's over the ball. Slot back left, Rogers. Quarterback Taggy calls his count. Flips the ball to Kitty. Kitty running the right side for five, for six. He breaking tackle to the 27. He wasn't breaking him, really. He was taking him with him to the 27-yard line. And he slapped on the back. A congratulatory slap from number 49, John Milstead. Like a job well done, big guy. And that's the kind of a ball game this is. Three yards short of a first down. Second down coming up. And the scoreboard clock runs out. It's the end of the third quarter. Nebraska leading 28 to 24. You know, Johnny Rogers is rewriting the Nebraska football record, but most touchdown pass receptions in the season. The previous record stood for 50 years. That by the late Clarence Swanson. The longest punt return, the most touchdown pass receptions in a single game. He tied that one. I'm sure Mr. Devaney uh, planted a fire on under them at the halftime because they have been coming off the ball in this second half thus far. Now they are on a second and three at the 27 and they break the huddle. They have a slot back left, Johnny Rogers in the eye, Kenny at the top of the eye. And uh, the fake handoff. Taggy wants to throw a quick pass. He couldn't get it away, but he got the first down. He couldn't, his man was covered and taken away from him, but he kept the ball and got the first down and 10 at the 31. Hey, that's my play, the one I sent in to Minnesota uh, two years ago. Uh, that's the one they never used, didn't it, Dave? It didn't work there either. <laughs> All right, it's first down 10. The ball at the 31-yard line of Nebraska. The Huskers come out of that huddle. They have the wind at their back now in this fourth period. But as we pointed out earlier, that's been meaningless, meaningless in this game also. Slot back left is Rogers. Split left end to give us to Kenny, the eye back. Kenny's end of the line, fighting ahead to the 34. He got some tough, hard yards, about three of them there. Oh, he had to battle for every inch of those. They stacked him up at about the uh, 32, and then he just uh, really clawed and fought to get to the 34-yard line, and somebody limping as he went back to the huddle in that Nebraska offensive line. This young man down there, number 71, Carl Johnson. He must be the most frustrated young man with that bad leg. He hasn't had a chance to see any action. Second down, seven, Nebraska at their own 34. 18 in from the east side. They go to the left, to the north, with the wind. Taggy rolls out. He wants to throw. Gives it to Rogers. Rogers running the reverse down the right side. He's got some blocking. He's out of bounds at midfield. They had a wall set up on that right side. And Johnny the Jet, who started left and then came circling back to the right, took that reverse beautifully from the hands of Jerry Taggy. And then they set the blocking wall down the right lane. He got to the midfield stripe before being shoved out of bounds. He just ran out of field to run on over there. So at midfield, it's first and 10, Nebraska. 13.54 left in this game. Nebraska splits two men to the left. In the eye, Kinney's at the top of the eye. Quarterback Taggy taking a long count at that line of scrimmage. Takes the ball, slides down the line, pitches off to Kinney. Kinney turns up field to about the 47. And uh, the ball is going to be ruled dead. He lost the ball, but it's going to be ruled dead. And the crowd is booing. That was, a, that was a situation exactly like uh, Nebraska experienced earlier with Mildred when Nebraska thought it was a quick whistle. But the minute that man hits the ground, if he hits the ground and then loses the ball, it is a uh, He's running back to the left. He got a block. Now he's running upfield. He broke a tackle. He's hit down at the 41-yard line. Taggy widely, wisely did not try to throw because he had some illegal people upfield and it would have been deadly had he tried to throw at that point. And he is only a half yard short of a first down. What a magnificent day both these quarterbacks are having this afternoon. 
The ball is a half yard short of the 40. It's third down and a half yard coming up. The ball still on the hash mark in from the west side. And uh, it's really getting dark here in Oklahoma. Twelve and a half minutes left, fourth quarter. Nebraska leads 28-24. Slot back right, Johnny the Jet Rogers. In the eye, Kenny's at the top of the eye. I think he's been there all day. The ball to Kenny running outside. He's to the 35, to the 30, to the 25, to the 24. And Jeff Kenny running just that fire out over the right side behind great blocking. Put the ball at the 24, first and 10. I'll tell you, those Oklahoma linebackers were off each guard there, and they expected something right over the middle. And the moment Kenny got that ball, he was that that right side was wide open. A brilliant call by Taggy. Well, they were sucked uh, sucked in. You and Dave completely and expecting as Dave called it right up the middle, and away they went. It was wide open. Oh, that Kenny's got to be getting tired running at that eye back all this way. First and ten, Nebraska at the 24. The Sooners, the Huskers in the eye with a slot left. Rogers, quarterback tagging, gives the fakes to Roger on the inside. Oh. Taggy lost the ball, and he's Oklahoma with a football. Oklahoma recovered the ball at the 31-yard line. Jerry Taggy faked the handoff to Johnny Rogers on the inside reverse. Kept the ball. I think he wanted to pitch off again to the outside, but he was tackled and lost the ball in the process. He was unable to get at the loose ball because the Oklahoma tacklers, tacklers were holding him. And that is the first error and lost ball by Nebraska. The first turnover on the part of the Cornhuskers and Oklahoma has that ball on their own 31 with 11.47 left in the game and the score 28-24 Nebraska leading. Oklahoma with the ball at the Oklahoma 31. First down 10. So the black shirts are back on the field and Oklahoma's great wishbone in action as the keeper goes up the middle by Mildred and he got big yardage to the 41 yard line. Adkins came in from behind to make the tackle. And Mildred again, faking the ball out to the left, keeping it running the quarterback draw right up the middle. To the 41, almost the first down, just barely short of it. So it'll be second down and just inches coming up. The ball a little bit to the right of the center of the field. Mildred has had good luck with that two or three times today. And they split the left end, Harrison. Mildred may throw. No, he keeps, goes right back in again on the same play. And he puts it at the 44-yard line, first down 10. Well, we would not have been surprised to see the driver of that wishbone, Jack Mildred, try to catch the Cornhuskers with a big one. He did uh, cross them up a bit by going right back to the very same play. So the ball is just short of the Oklahoma 45, where it's first down 10. And now the wishbone operator goes up behind that center. Mildred splits his right end. Mildred fakes his hand off, gives off to Welch, and Welch gets about five. Tim Welch, the fullback, number 45, got about five yards. Uh, Glover was in on the stop along with him, uh, two or three other men. The ball is spotted at the 49 and a half yard line. Let's call it uh, second down and about five to go Oklahoma. It's really getting dark here. Dark down on that field as Oklahoma comes over the ball. All right, second and five. In the wishbone, Mildred keeps that ball, goes outside. Now he pitches off to Pruitt. He's to the 35, and he's hit out of bounds. Mildred finally got a man outside, and it was nobody but Greg Pruitt. And he just threw that 20-yard pitch out to perfection. As Pruitt got outside Jimmy Anderson, Anderson thought Mildred had penetrated so far he was not going to pitch off. But Mildren got it off to Pruitt, and the Sooners have the ball at the 33 of Nebraska, first down and 10 to go. They trail it by a four points and threaten to score. They're at the 33, and Mildren on the keeper on the draw, this time picks up a couple. Got, got to about the 31-yard line. Let's see where they stack it up. Spot that ball. At about the 31-and-a-half-yard line, let's give him a couple, make it second and eight. Jacobson... Uh, Glover and Branch in on that stop for Nebraska. It'll be second and eight. The ball at the 31 and a half yard line. Nebraska's black shirt defense being sorely tested again. Wide to the right is Harrison, the split in. Quarterback Mildred gives the ball off to his fullback straight into the line, goes Welch for about three. Let's see where they spot it. Terrio in on that stop. 
and along with him was Branch. They put the ball just across the 29-yard line. Here's a big third down play. It'll be third down, and let's call it about six yards to go. About five and a half. The ball inside, barely inside Nebraska's 29. On the hash mark in from the east side of the field, Oklahoma goes against the wind. They split the right end. Harrison and Mildren on the keep gives to Welch, his fullback, who got just short of the 25. It'll be a couple of yards short of a first down. Welch on that quick one into the middle. Was stopped by Glover and Terrio. The ball is at the 25-and-a-half-yard line. Here is the big play of this ball game. Jansen is going in there at right tackle and coming out is Dutton for Nebraska. And will Mildren keep it? What will he do with it? He needs a good two yards. Mildren takes the ball. He keeps. He goes outside. He's hit and dropped, but he got the first down. He got the first down to about the 22-yard line. So he kept it alive. It's spotted at the 21-and-a-half-yard line. I'll tell you, this Mildred has been a brilliant clutch performer all afternoon long, and, and you can't help but feel that it's too bad the team's going to have to lose this ball game. Two brilliant ball clubs, and Mildred has been sensational. And they are using a lot of clock. Eight and a half minutes left in this fourth quarter. Mildred has him over the ball. Mildred gives to his fullback. He's stacked up at the 20. Welch dropped it about the 20-yard line, picking up a yard or so. Larry Jacobson led the stop on him. Give him a yard, make it second and nine. The ball still is 18 in from the east side of the playing field. Second down and nine coming up for Oklahoma. 28-24 the score. Nebraska leads. Eight minutes left on the clock. Oklahoma has really been consuming the clock in this drive. And the Sooners come over the ball with Harrison split wide to the right. Quarterback Mildred takes the ball. He gives off to Pruitt. Pruitt into the line for about two or three. Getting it around the 17-yard line. Underneath that play, Dave Mason, Terrio, Jacobson, Glover. Dutton is coming back in. The ball is at the 17-yard uh, line. It's third down coming up and about uh, six to go. I'll tell you the silence now that's uh, enveloped after that second down play. It's just the anticipation is just so great. People are standing. All right, it's Oklahoma over the ball. Here's a big play. Third and about six, and Mildred fakes. He's going to throw. It's a long one in the end zone, knocked down, beautifully covered over there, and it was co-captain Jimmy Anderson who was in there covering Albert Chandler, the tight end number 82. A brilliant defensive play that time that pass was covered, and Mildred throwing to that spot in the corner. And I'll tell you, the receiver was open. He had about three steps on Jimmy Anderson. Mildred lofted the ball, and Anderson got there at just the very last possible second. Oh, my. Oh, fourth down. Here's a fourth down, six to go. The ball at the 17-yard line of the Nebraska Cornhuskers. And Oklahoma breaks the huddle. Fourth down. And Mildred fakes. He keeps. He's back there to throw. He's got protection. Receiver open. And again, it was John Harrison beating Billy Cush over in the right corner. And you just have to feel sorry for Billy Cush. It's been a tough day for him. Harrison has just been too much. The ball is at the three-yard line to try for the point. And Oklahoma forges in front, 30 to 28. And the try for the point, let's see what they will do. 30 to 28. Carroll will kick, Mildred will hold, the kick is up, it's good. And the score is 31 to 28, with 7-10 left to play in this fourth quarter. Carroll just takes a short punch at it, and uh, Kenny fields the ball at the 16-yard line. He's running to the right, and he's tripped up on a great tackle by number 37, and that is Gary Young. Kenny took that short kick into the wind, tripped up at the 26, and the Cornhuskers will start from there at the 26-yard line. Seven minutes, five seconds left to go on that scoreboard clock, and Nebraska's Cornhuskers, if they ever needed one of their patented drives, they need it now. They are 74 yards from home, and they're in the eye with a slot back to the left. Quarterback Taggy calls his count, and he gives to Rogers on the reverse to the outside of the right. Rogers cuts up field, slips and falls at the 30. Rogers slipped down at the 30-yard line, 
and the ball will be spotted just across the 30 and it uh, looks as if Rogers was limping just a little bit as he got up off the ground it's going to come up third down or second down and five for Nebraska all right they break the huddle Woody Cox splits wide left Rogers in the slot to the left the Huskers in their eye formation with Kinney at the top of the eye and a quarterback tagging takes his count at the line of scrimmage he gives to Kinney Kinney drives into the line to about the 35 yard line it'll be short of a first down by about a yard so what they need and really need badly is a long drive to kill that clock Dumbler limping a little bit as he gets up off the pile the ball is third in a short yard at the 35 yard line of Nebraska that is what exactly Nebraska needed on that last drive before the taggy fumble now they trail 31 to 28 and the Huskers have a slot back left Johnny Rogers Kinney is in the top of the yard on this third down of the yard and the flip is out to Kinney he's running the left side he's to the 40 he's to the 45 he's to the 50 he's hit out of bounds Jeff Kinney just doing a magnificent job of running and this big guy just must be tired oh pardon me yes he is tired he's going to leave the ball game and coming in there is Dixon Kinney has just been a magnificent runner in this second half of the game. Dixon makes his first appearance. First and 10, Nebraska, the 48 of Oklahoma. All right, slot back left is Roger, or right is Rogers. Dixon in the top of the yard. And the ball goes to Dixon. Dixon running into the line for not much. He stopped at about the 46. He picked up a couple and not anymore. Jeff Kinney is on the ground. They're working on him. He was injured. He's, do you see him down there, Lyle? They're working on him. That's oh, why he jumped in there. I see. He sure is. And what a blow. And uh, they're looking at Kinney's leg. The ball is at the 46-yard line. It's second down, and let's call it eight to go. Second and eight. Five minutes left on the clock. 31 to 28. Oklahoma leads it. Slot back right is Rogers. Dixon is in the top of the eye now in place of Kinney. Fake handoff by Taggy. He wants to go deep. He finally throws, and he's had incomplete out of bounds. Intended for Rodgers, incomplete out of bounds. The Oklahoma secondary had the receivers covered deep. Haggy could not find anybody open. And the ball is spotted back at the 46-yard line, the line of scrimmage. It'll be third down and eight to go. Four minutes, 50 seconds left to play in this game. 31-28. And uh, Woody Cox goes uh, out of the ball game. Kinney is back in. He's all right. Jeff Kinney back in there to play. Frosty Anderson has split in. It is third down at about uh, eight to go. Nebraska in their spread. Quarterback Taggy drops straight back to throw. He wants a receiver. He's still looking. He throws complete to Johnny Rogers. And it's a first down at the 35-yard line. And what a great grab Rogers made off the ground. Well, that's a super catch. A oh. super catch. He's been doing it all year, and he just did it again. Great play by Johnny Rogers. First down, Nebraska at the 35 of Oklahoma. Four minutes, 37 seconds left to play in this ball game. And oh, how dark it is getting. 31 to 28, Oklahoma leads. Nebraska fighting for their lives right here as they break the huddle. They split the left end, Frosty Anderson. Rogers in the slot to the left. Kinney's in the top of the eye. Paggy calls his starting count. He takes the ball, he gives to Kinney. Kinney running outside of the left. 30, he's the 25, he's the 22, and down he goes at the 22. So the ball is two yards short of a first down at the 22-yard line of the Oklahoma Sooners. Four minutes, 10 seconds left on the scoreboard clock. Second and two, Nebraska. And the great success of the running game in the second half has been going starting inside and then going outside the tackles. All right, it's second down. Or it's a first down, pardon me. First down and 10 at the 22. I'm not excited. There's a reverse to Rogers. Rogers running the left side, broke a tackle to the 20 to the 15. Great running by Johnny Rogers. He got seven when he could have been had behind the line of scrimmage. Thank you, Davy. You just redeemed yourself, old boy. You caught me on that wrong, young, uh, wrong yard line. If I'm stuttering, pardon me. What a ball game this is. Never anything like it. The ball at the 15 yard line of Oklahoma. Second down and three to go. Second and three at the Oklahoma 15. In the slot right is Johnny Rogers. The crowd is wild. Taggy calls his starting count. The ball goes to Kinney. Kinney running over the left side to about the eight yard line. 
First down and goal to go. Nebraska at the eight-yard line of Oklahoma. Oh, daddy -o, how about this one? Holy Toledo, what an afternoon this is. Three minutes and 14 seconds left in this game. 28 to 31, Nebraska trails. The Horn Cornhuskers threatened. They're at the eight-yard line of the Oklahoma Sooners. And they break the huddle. They send Woody Cox wide right. Rogers in the slot to the right. Kenny, the indestructible, at the top of the eye. Taggy calls his starting count at the line of scrimmage. Flips to Kenny. Kenny running the right side for a couple of yards. Setting the ball right up at about the six-yard line. Straight out in front of the uprights. And even that could be important this day. Let's see where they finally spot the ball. Call it the six-yard line. Give Big Jeff Kinney a couple. So it's second down and six to go for the touchdown. Two and a half minutes left to play. Two and a half minutes left. And is the rain starting to fall? How about that? Nebraska calls for timeout. Taggy will come over to talk to Bob DeBanty. But I think the rain is falling, isn't it, Jack? On a second down, six to go for the touchdown. Are in the eye with Kinney at the top of the eye. Oklahoma loading that line up there to stop him. Taggy calling his count. He gives the ball to Kinney. Outside the left side, he's dragging people to the two-yard line. No, Kinney hangs on the ball. It got away when they pulled him down. But he was down and the crowd is booing. They think uh, he should have lost the ball. But Kinney, outside left tackle, got four of those six. And now it's third down, two to go for the touchdown. The clock shows a minute and 55 seconds. Nebraska wants to use all of it they can. Two shots to go two yards. Jeff Kinney in the top of the eye. Haggy, the quarterback, calls his count at the line of scrimmage. Taking a long count there, he gives to Kinney. Kinney over the left side, touchdown! Four yards on that drive. 74 yards on that drive, and Nebraska forges into the lead. 34 to 31. Oh man, woman and child, I never thought I would live this long to see this kind of a football game. 138 left to play on that scoreboard clock. The try for the point. Taggy will hold. Sanger will kick. This kick is important. The ball is snapped. It's down. The kick is up. The kick is good. And it's 35-31. Oklahoma must get a touchdown. They have a minute and 38 seconds to do it. Lyle, uh, Jeff Kenny, I think, has just made Cornhusker football history four touchdowns in one game. And I don't think anyone else has made over three. David? Well, how many did he score last year against Oklahoma? Well, no, in the 44-14 win down here, he had three or four. Jack, I'm not sure. I'll tell you one thing, though. Nebraska has the lead now with 138. And this, I, I will make the prediction, this is going to be the longest minute and 38 seconds that I may ever live. There is no question, Dave, and this game is not settled, believe me. Dave, I, you're right. Uh, you know, there were only 33 oh. seconds left on that clock when Oklahoma scored at the end of that half. Just uh, an incredible thing. And thus far, they have not been able, Nebraska hasn't, not been able to stop the Oklahoma passing game. Oh. So, hold on to your hat, Mother. We're ready to go. Nebraska will kick off to Oklahoma with the win and I hope I, I imagine Bob Devaney is hoping that uh, Mr. Sanger will get a hold of the football and put it through the end zone the wind I believe has gone down a little with that rain falling the ball bounces at the 10 it's fumbled around a little bit and picked up by Wiley Wiley runs to the 15 he's hit down now he gets up and goes to the 19 it was almost down but not quite stopped at the 19 yard line so Oklahoma must go 81 yards Billy Olds made the tackle Oklahoma has a minute and 33 seconds to go 81 yards. KFAB in Omaha bringing you this game. Omaha Savings and Loan and Blue Cross Blue Shield, your host. Oh, what a day. And I don't know if that rain is still coming down. I can't see. It's too dark. Split the right end. Harrison, he's been the bugaboo today. And they're firing long. He's in behind, but it's well overthrown. Boy, I'll tell you, this guy is something tough to cover. It's incomplete. Falls down back at about the 35. Oklahoma being forced to go to the air here. But then again, you never know. With a guy like Pruitt, they might try to spring him on the big run. 
but that eats up clock. They've got a minute and 28 seconds left. They uh, trail Nebraska 31 to 35. The Cornhuskers. Now uh, Pat Morrell goes out of the ball game. Somebody went in to replace him. And uh, here is Oklahoma second and ten. A uh, fake handoff by Mildren. Mildren gives it to Pruitt who's run out of bounds. At least uh, it looked from here as if he gave it to Pruitt. I'll tell you it's dark. And over on that sideline, they had a lot of flesh jammed up together. But anyway, the ball went out of bounds at about the 22 and a half yard line. We'll see where they finally spot it, the 23. So it's going to come up third down and six. Dutton is going in and Jansen coming out at right tackle for Nebraska. So here is a third and six play for Oklahoma. The clock shows a minute and 21. Oklahoma, third and six, splits the end, Harrison. Mildren takes the ball, fakes it off, back to throw. Jacobson got him for a loss. Oh, clever, clever it was. It's clever. Fired through there. And I think it was uh, clever who made it, wasn't it, Dave? I have the uh, glasses down here, and it was so dark that I picked them up, and I couldn't see if it was 79 or 75. 75 was on top, Lyle. It may have been somebody underneath. Was it Jacobson? I thought it was Jake. Well, we've got one uh, faction up here in the booth says it was Jake, and another says it was Glover. Who cares? But, uh, who, who cares, cares at right. this point? I'm sure Lyle. Bob Devaney doesn't. Lyle, we might wonder what is the range of Rich Glover on the field? 54 yards by 100. That ball is now back after that loss to the 15-yard line, and it's fourth and 14. Fourth and 14, and this is the biggest play, has to be the biggest play in the history of Nebraska football right here. Certainly, Bob Devaney made no bones about it. He said before this ball game, it was the very biggest ball game of his career. Come down here and play Oklahoma on their home field with number one ranking at stake and to play such a great football team. And what a great, unbelievable day this has been. 35-31 and Oklahoma on a fourth down play at the Oklahoma 15. What will they do? Fourth and 14. Man. <laughs> What'd you say, Dave? Oh. All right. All right, they split the end on the right. Harrison. Mildred fakes. He's back there to throw. He got away from Jacobson. Then the ball knocked down by Glover. And Jacobs is on it in the end zone. No good. But Nebraska takes over the ball. What great play by big Larry Jake. He just won the Outland Trophy seven times over. And look at that sideline. Look at that sideline go wild. What magnificent defense. Jacobson hit the passer and then slowed him up. Glover came in to knock the ball down as it left the hands of Jack Mildren. And one minute, ten seconds left on the clock, and I am going out of my gourd. I just can't help it. It is never anything like it. The ball at the 15-yard line of Oklahoma. Nebraska with the football. Kinney in the top of the eye. They just need to kill the clock and hang on to the ball. Taggy fakes a throw. He's running the left end. He's just killing the clock. Refusing to go out of bounds. He just dips the dude around. And for that big guy, that's something. But he was not about to go out of bounds. He wanted to keep the clock running. Now Oklahoma calls time. And the clock shows 55 seconds left. Nebraska is at the Oklahoma 11. Second down and six yards to go. And David, I am in an absolute state of exhaustion. Yes, you are, Lyle. That'd I'm, be awfully nice. I'm, <laughs> I'm just too old for this sort of thing, Davy. Lyle. Yeah. Ye of little faith. What, Lyle? I was fine. No, I was, not us. I was never afraid. <laughs> I, never, never. <laughs> Let me tell you something. What did I tell you when they came out of the dressing room? They're ready. Did you ever see a Bob Devaney team quit? No, never. Sir. Never, no, never, sir. never, never. You remember, you remember Colorado, don't you, Jack, years ago? Well, that was With a Bobby things. Churchich at the helm, this is the this same is kind a of a deal. David? Yes? I detected a little enthusiasm. Well, I'd sure like to see Nebraska pick up the first down along here with uh, 55 seconds to go. I'm, t I'm scared to death of this Oklahoma ball. So am I. Yes, I'm with you. you. All the way right there. They need a first down. The ball at the 11. It's second down six. And Taggy takes the ball. Rolls out there to his right. He keeps the ball. He's hit and knocked down at the 12-yard line. Whoa, we 47 seconds. I don't know how many timeouts Oklahoma might have left. Boy, did he protect that ball, Lyle. He really cradled that ball. He surely did. And Oklahoma calls another timeout. Stops the clock with 41 seconds. 
As you say, David, Nebraska sorely needs a first down. Third down and seven with a ball at the 12. Now ask yourself, I, now, I cannot tell how many uh, first down, or, uh, timeouts that Oklahoma has. On the fourth down, might Nebraska go for a field goal? It isn't shown uh, this, on the clock. Uh, this scoreboard down here does not show uh, the number of timeouts remaining as they do in Nebraska. What is it, Jack? That's right, Lyle. It doesn't show on the clock over there, and uh, I have no way of telling. How you holding up, Lyle? Ooh, I need a, <laughs> I need a couple of tranks, I'll tell you that. <laughs> woo -wee me The ball at the 12, squarely between the sideline stripes, and when play resumes, it'll be third down seven. Got to get seven yards, Lyle. We got to get on. Got to get that first down. They need that first down. First Ted is right. Got it. But they are in that uh, uh, really unenviable position of uh, wanting having to hang on to that ball and not uh, try too much. Oklahoma will be fighting for the football. Third and seven. Nebraska's over it. In the top of the eye is Kenny. Kenny trying on the left side of the line. He goes to the six-yard line. Oh, how that guy is something. He put it down on the six-yard line. That's where they spot it, short of a first down by about a yard. Maybe that's it. The Oklahoma clock is running. Right. Oklahoma may be out of timeouts. It's still running. 24 seconds. Well, they can let it run out. 23 seconds. 20 seconds. And Nebraska can really let this clock run out. Is that what you were after, Jack? Or else, if they haven't got that much time, let it run there and they take the penalty, then go. All right. 12 seconds left. They're in the eye. And to give us to Kenny, he's outside to the three. First down, we got first it. down and that's the ball game. That'll be the ball game. The clock is stopped on that first down with three seconds. That's automatic. Anytime you make a first down, the official stops the clock to spot it. But now he starts the clock again as he sets that ball down at the three. The clock is running. The ball game is over. And Nebraska has come out still number one, still the football team. And what a job they did. And ladies and gentlemen, when you start looking for your football players to replace Figure out how you replace a Jeff Kinney. Magnificent, truly magnificent. What a second half he had. And Dave, look at the spirit of the football players down look there. Look at Mildred. Mildred came over and he's shaking the hands of all the Nebraska players. This is, I'll tell you one thing. I have never seen a person more brilliant in defense. Before Nebraska needed a patented drive and Bob Devaney's teams never quit. They showed their color today and they showed what is inside that stomach when they took that ball down the field this afternoon. The greatest victory of all time. And look at the crowd around Glover. Glover is just being besieged by people down on the sideline. He is something out of this book. And Dave, Dave, did you ever see anything? How can you describe the play of Glover and Jacobson in those final minutes? Brilliant. Oh, the cream really comes to the top, I'll tell you. They were out of this world. I'll tell you, rarely does a lineman ever get uh, thought of for the Heisman Trophy, but next year, Rich Glover, with this being on national television, with a great game he had against Colorado, I assume Alabama's going to have some trouble with him. I'll tell you right now, Rich Glover might be in line for a Heisman Trophy consideration. Now, let me tell you something, Dave. Larry Jacobson was the lineman of the year, according to the Football Writers of America, and was voted the Outland Trophy. And don't those fellas feel they really made a heck of a decision? Oh, boy. Fantastic. What an Outland Fantastic. Trophy winner he really is and had a chance to prove it to the world. And the, one of the happiest guys in all this world has got to be John Melton. And John Melton is going to be our guest in just a few minutes as we wrap this thing up.